Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a segment that I would like to call Is it better at Dollar Tree versus drugstore makeup products? Um, I went to Dollar Tree just a, uh, this past weekend ago because I had to go buy some things that I needed and I stumbled at the makeup section at Dollar Tree just because I find elf things in Dollar Tree something some stuff that like lipsticks that are worth two dollars they're worth a dollar at Dollar Tree so I, it's kind of like a steal for me but I came across these lipstick and lip gloss duos by LA Colors I got all six of them and I'm going to be reviewing them here in this channel to see how pigmented they are and everything and if they're better than the drugstore lipsticks because for me I find it better in the drugstore than you know Dollar Tree but we'll see probably looks can be deceiving but before getting on to this drugstore versus Dollar Tree makeup video whatever you want to call it go ahead and subscribe to this channel before you do and also hit the little notification button right there it will really really it will really let you know when I post videos and also hit that like button it will really help me out there and if you want to become part of the bun crazy head bow family um, I will call everybody my bun heads but go ahead and like I said subscribe to the video and yeah let's go ahead and get started okay so like in my intro I did went to Dollar Tree past weekend and I stumbled across these lipsticks now these are all a dollar at Dollar Tree obviously and um, I haven't tried it on because I didn't want to review them so let's go ahead and get started with the review um, the first one that I have I'm gonna go with all six of them first I'm not gonna, I wanted to try them on my lips but I already have this one uh, I have which is um, NYX Monte Carlo with a red lip liner from e.l.f. So that's what I have on my lips right now with my hoops and my choker and my bow. <laughs> so the first color that I have which is called uh, Twinkle. So this is the color right here. This is the packaging. It's very cute. Um, it's very... I like the packaging so far. Uh, so on the top here you're gonna have which is a pink lipstick is showing brighter on camera which is kind of bright also in real person and it also has which is a pink gloss it's like a peachy -ish pink gloss right here so let's go ahead and swatch it, it smells kind of sweet now this isn't sheer so I don't know how pigmented these are like I said these are what I bought a few of these last about two years ago because I I was barely starting getting started to wear makeup and lipsticks and everything and I couldn't afford you know other than that before when and why I became more popular and stuff I bought some of these but they weren't as pigmented as they are now can you see that color this is twinkle let's add you guys can see it is not mad it is somewhat of uh, like it's a buttery lipstick so if you don't like mattes, then you probably, I mean, if you don't like sh like shiny lipstick, you won't probably like this. But let's go ahead and add the gloss. So this is what the Dove applicator looks like. So it's just a regular Dove applicator. Let's just get some of that lipstick on here. If you hear my son, he's just right, he's right here with the little chair. Okay, I don't know if you're not going to be able to see it, but the shine is like, oh god. It's like right there. I don't know if you can see it right there. <sighs> Let me try to add it on top of the lipstick. These can go on top of the lipstick to make it like a lip gloss. I don't know. So this is Twinkle. So, so far this one is a good color. I like it. So that's Twinkle, which is this pink one right here. The next color that I have, it is called flush and flush is kind of like a really deep red almost yeah it's kind of like a very deep red let me just put the top right there so you can see it better it's a more like a deepish red it's the type of colors that i like but also kind of it's like a reddish purple so let's go ahead and swatch this okay at least took about three passes just to get that color but look at that Dollar Tree makeup does LA Colors, I guess is the brand for Dollar Tree. They're really pigmented. Look at that. And this is in the color flush. So if you guys like if you're a person or someone that's barely starting off to wear makeup and you don't want to buy oh I just stabbed it. Okay. 
Um, if you're a person that is just starting to wear, whether you're a boy or a girl, starting to wear makeup, just go ahead and pick these up from Dollar Tree just because you don't want to also spend so much money on just, you know, one lipstick that you're probably not going to wear. And here's the gloss part right here. There's really like a pinkyish red. It might want to compliment. They do have complimented glosses to it. This kind of looks like a little bit one similar to the one that I had. Um, kind of one that I had back of a couple of years ago. Okay, so just add it. Okay, so here's flush the gloss right here. It is very pretty. I wonder how it looks like on with it though. Okay, so those two colors were pretty amazing. I mean, look at these. That is awesome. The next color that I have, which is Charm, it is kind of similar to um, Flush, what I just... Um, it's kind of like flushed, but it's a little bit different. Ho 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 ho, someone needs their pacifier. Come on, beer. Excuse me one second. Okay, I had to put my son down for a nap. But the next color that I have um, is going to be Charmed. And like I said before, Charmed looked a little bit like flushed. But as you guys can see, here's um, flushed and here's charm. They're a little bit different. I don't know if you guys can tell from the glare, but one's a little bit darker, but they do look kind of similar. And the camera looks kind of similar, but in person they do look different. So this one's going to be trying to almost got it mixed up. So this is what charm looks like. It's like a very like a fushy purple. I'm just gonna go ahead and swatch it on my arm just to see how pigmented it is. I'm gonna take off my watch real quick. Okay, so let me just go ahead. And it really doesn't take a lot. And these are very soft and smooth. I mean look at that. That's like really really pigmented. Let's try let's try the gloss. So yeah, like I was saying before, if you're a person that is starting to wear makeup or doesn't really know how to get started on wearing makeup, I suggest you go into the Dollar Tree and try to buy, you know, these lipsticks or if you want to try the eyeshadows. I have tried the eyeshadows from LA Colors at Dollar Tree and they do work, they do work fine, the mattes, the shimmers not so much. Here's the gloss. It's kind of patchy, the gloss. Um, if I, for my preference, I'll just use the lipstick. But that's what I noticed in the other two that I've tried that they're kind of, they're kind of patchy. I don't know if you guys can see the patchiness on the gloss, but so yeah, that is charmed. The next one that I have is called Vibe, and Vibe is kind of it is a purple lipstick, and. There was one that I tried a couple of years ago when I bought these. Here's what the lipstick looks like. And it was kind of a little bit lighter than this. But this is a good purple. And this is a nice purple for fall. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Look at that swatch. So this is Vibe. I, this is a nice color. I don't have one of these type of colors in my... Um, in my lipstick collection um i don't really have a color similar to this and this is another thing part of the dollar tree this is a good thing um if you're a person that's trying to find a color lipstick or is not too sure how it's going to look like i would suggest you investing in one of these because if you want to try to find a color that's similar there's a bunch of brands that have somewhat of the same color you don't want to spend 20 to 25 dollars on a lipstick that you probably might not like so if i were you i suggest you're just investing on a on one on a drugstore excuse me or two at a dollar tree so also just depending on if they have them there so let's try this is what the gloss looks like it's very bright pink same thing like any type of glosses it is kind of Blotchy. That's blotchy, but it's not like your Anastasia Beverly Hills um, glosses or anything. But you can see the color, right? So that is five. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I'm getting over this cold. 
not good. But at least my face is clearing up. The next color I have is probably one that I might go to. It's called Internal Flame. I love that name a lot because it's it's Internal Flame. Uh, it's part of like an Indian. I forgot the name, but I'll name it somewhere. <clears throat> I'll leave it somewhere of the name of that person that I saw a documentary. Uh, there was a girl, little girl's name that meant internal flame but but anyways off subject um so here's what internal flame looks like it's just a bright red i love reds that's like my go-to lipstick whether i just have right now like right now i just have which is my foundation with no eyeshadow just eyeliner red lips call it a day and that's it when i don't feel like doing eyeshadow this red right here, it has like a pinkyish undertone to it, which I kind of like. I really don't like reds that have um, orange tones to it, but oh, if you guys can, you guys can see it. I have to twist my arm. Oh, I'm sorry, but this is um, Internal Flame, which is a nice red. It looks kind of pinkish, but it has some pinkish undertones to it. And this is the gloss. This gloss right here is like. It's like fire engine red. Let's see. I'm more of a type of a lipstick and lip. You know, the cap looks pink. I don't know if you guys can see it. Do you see that? It looks pink. <sighs> Same thing with the gloss. Um, these glosses kind of like if you can see this one and this one almost look alike. It's just this one is a little bit more of a reddish tint to it last one that we have which is clarity now clarity this is the only lipstick that has a clear a very clear gloss where i mean a white gloss but the thing is is that this one is a nude now they didn't have nude this nude color back when i bought the other six back then so i'm really excited because since the nudes are the new red i guess you can say it like that oh this is a nice color Okay, with clarity, sorry I had to put again my son to sleep because he woke up. Um, but this is clarity. It is a really, really, I don't know if you guys, oh, can you guys see it? There we go. Um, this is clarity right here. I'm sorry how my swatches are going like on a spiral. But this is clarity. It is a really, really nice nude. And of course, I'm not going to swatch the gloss because the gloss obviously is clear. So you won't be able to freaking tell that it's in my arm. I'm just going to go ahead. Uh, earlier, before I put my son down to sleep, I did take off some of the lipstick swatches that I had here. You guys can see my hand looks kind of pink. They do stain. I mean, I'm just taking them off right now with just a regular makeup removal wipe. And look at that. They do stain your hand. The lipsticks, the lip glosses, obviously they don't stain, but, but, but yeah, if I, if I was someone that was interested in, you know, getting into makeup and stuff like that, I do recommend buying these at the Dollar Tree. Now, I just bought all six of them because I wanted to try them. I am going to be wearing them, obviously, but, um, but it's a good investment, and plus it's a dollar, who can't beat a dollar lipstick and lip gloss? do all me come on even if you know if you don't want to wear lipstick wear gloss but i do have to say some of these lids i mean some of these lids on these lipsticks they kind of well they were moving earlier they were kind of loose but but overall packaging is just in as long as the product works good but yeah um like i said i do recommend these Go so that concludes for the video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I had, I really, really do like these lipsticks. I hope you guys like them too. If you don't, then oh well, just don't come bashing at me. Uh, but yeah, anyways, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that, that like button down there. Subscribe and become part of the Bunhead family with the cute bow. That's my signature thing. But... Yeah, I hope you like this video and stay tuned for tomorrow's video and that would be it. I hit myself on the lip without touching my, rubbing off my lipstick. But anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow and I hope you enjoy your day. Bye.